Um, just, just with what you've drawn up there, um, yep. from say like a, a religious context, is that um, the belief of what uh, baptism is supposed to perform for people? Is yeah. the um, breaking down of the layers to accept the Holy Ghost from a physical perspective? Well, I suppose for each different form of religion, they have different views of baptism. There are some who believe in infinite baptism. There are some that believe in adult baptism and so forth. And many of them believe that the baptism is the washing away of sin. And uh, in fact, there are certain comments in the Bible that would perhaps lead you to believe that. And so if we view this as all the unlovingness within us, that's, all that, that's everything that creates our unloving thoughts, our loving words and our unloving actions. That's all the unlovingness, all of those things, the fear of our true self, the addictions and the anger and other emotions like that. That's the unlovingness with inside of us. And if, if we go down the track of going, all right, so where that's the unloving, and if I get myself baptised, that washes away all the unloving. Now, have you seen that in practice? Like, have you seen every Christian that's ever been baptised, have you seen them all of a sudden go from being a sinner to a saint? Have you not? No. So does it work? No. No. You see, this is one of the things we need to come to terms with on the earth. Look at what happens and see the results and then use your head and go, hmm, that action didn't seem to perform what they wanted it to perform, so maybe it's not much worth in that action. Does that make sense? And so it's quite logical to see that actually these things are not going to go away from you just by you getting baptised. They're only going to go away from you by having a baptism of the soul, the transformation of the new birth that I spoke about, being born again inside of your soul is the way that that transformation occurs, not through baptism. And, and so baptism is just, uh, uh, again, another way mankind has tried to copy something that happened in my life and turn it into something that, that has some effect. But in reality, the only reason why I got baptised was because I wanted to demonstrate that my soul had already experienced the new birth and I felt a completely different person as a result of that. And so I thought, well, the illustration came to me that it's like the washing away of all sin. And so I thought, yeah, I'll go down to John and get myself baptised right, as a personal thing for myself to mark the occasion, like a celebration to mark the occasion of my being born again. Does that make sense? That was the only purpose of it. But now what man has done with that is they said, right, if you go and get baptised, then you'll be a new man or a new woman. And, and yet, when you look around you and see all the people that have been baptised, do you see many of them being a new man or a new woman? Don't you see them with the same errors, the same angers, the same addictions, the same fears? Many times you do. So baptism itself is totally ineffectual in actually creating a difference. The baptism of the soul, which only occurs through the flowing of love, has certainly got the capability of making that transformation. Thank you.